Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Monday, July 11th, 2022. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. You had a chance to worship either in person or uh, online, either through the, yeah, probably through the live stream or the recording. Uh, yeah, weather was pretty good. Uh, Saturday, Saturday was beautiful. Uh, we went down to Alpaca and spent some time on, on a boat on the chain of lakes. So that was a nice day. Yesterday, a little bit more uh, cloudy and rainy but still not so bad. And today it's gonna to be cloudy and rainy as well. We got a little bit of breeze going, about 75 degrees here at the house. Uh, deck is still wet from last night's rain, so that's why I'm inside today. So anyway, check in time, how are you all doing? Hope and pray that you are healthy and safe and well. Uh, if you have a comment or a question, you can leave it below in the comment section. I do have some coffee here, some cold brew. Cheers, church. All right. So our devotion today comes from The Word in Season, and our writer is Susan Shin Turner, writer for St. John Lutheran Church in Salisbury, North Carolina, and lives in Raleigh. And our scripture reading is Psalm 25, 11 to 20. Psalm 25, 11 to 20. We had verses 1 through 10 for our worship yesterday. And I, I noticed when I was looking this up that it, it actually goes, Psalm 25 is... Uh, goes to 22 verses so i don't know why they didn't include 20 uh, 21 and 22 in the in the uh daily reading today sorry I got it. my nose is itching the allergies acting up gotta take my medicine anyway so 11 to 20 and i may just read 21 and 22 as a, you know, be kind of that rebel <laughs> and read an extra two verses so 11 psalm 25 verse 11 <clears throat> for your name's sake O lord pardon my guilt for it is great who are they that fear the Lord? He will teach them the way that they should choose. They will abide in prosperity, and their children shall possess the land. The friendship of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he makes his covenant known to them. My eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he will pluck my feet out of the net. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Relieve the troubles of my heart and bring me out of my distress. Consider my affliction and my trouble, and forgive all my sins. Consider how many are my foes, and with what violent hatred they hate me. O oh, guard my life and deliver me. Do not let me be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. And that's 20. I'm going to read verses 21 and 22 anyway. May integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait for you. Redeem Israel, O oh God out of all its troubles. And again, I don't know why they didn't just include those two verses in the reading, the daily readings, but yeah, that's a question for them. And our Devo from the Word in Season is called A God of Refuge. A theme verse is verse 20. O oh, guard my life and deliver me. Do not let me be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. And Susan writes, There's a tremendous variety in the Psalms. Pleas for help, songs of triumph and thanksgiving, cries for justice and vindication. Today's Psalm, Psalm, today's Psalm excerpt is a cry for guidance and deliverance. The highlighted verse, the theme verse, reminds me of the first verse of Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. There's probably no way to count how many times we've turned to God over the years. It's never too early or too late to do so. That's one thing I like about the book of Psalms. I have so much in common with its writers. To me, this book is the most accessible of the Old Testament books. There aren't many situations in this book in which we can't see ourselves. Are you lonely? Is your heart troubled? Have you sinned? Do you have enemies? This is starting to sound like a, like a commercial. It's not. If you answered yes to any or all of these questions, you can take refuge in God. It's never too early or too late to do so. I was reading, and I don't know if it was a devotional or something else, um, that the Psalms are, uh, so much of the Bible, except for the Psalms, is... God talking to humans. Um, 
or, or the stories of God and humans. And the book of Psalms is the humans expressing themselves to God. This is what I'm feeling. This is what I'm going through. My enemies are all around me. I am, I am sick. I am in distress. I am joyful. I'm happy. I'm praising you. These gamut of emotions uh, fill the Psalms. And uh, it's, 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 it's probably the only place in the Bible, probably, yeah, the only place in the Bible where the humans are communicating to God. It's our song book. It's our prayer book. Um, and it runs the gamut, as Susan tells us. It runs the gamut. And I think in a previous devotion a few weeks ago, I talked about the Psalms and, and how how the Psalms uh, is good for daily reading. And if you don't find, if you're, if you don't fit, what you're going through on that day doesn't fit that Psalm you're reading, move on to the next one, because chances are that one might. So yeah, there's a, there's a, the whole gamut of human emotion and experience and, uh, yeah, emotion experience that is, that is expressed to God in the Psalms. And right where these are songs, this is the songbook of the, the, uh, the Jewish people. And, uh, and we as Christians can take that on and because it, it fits so much of, uh, like I said, our human experience. Uh, so commend the Psalms to you. Read, read some more today. Be of strong heart, good courage, just stay dear church, keep yourself safe and healthy and well. I gotta take my allergy medicine. Uh, keep yourself safe and healthy and well. Wash your hands and wear masks and distance as appropriate, all that good stuff to keep yourselves and others safe. We do these to share the light of Christ and show love to our neighbor. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for being our refuge. Amen. Blessings upon you this day. Peace.